I think the sequel has been in the works for a very long time. I think Jerry and Tom have been talking about it for many, many years. And, you know, it was very important for everybody to make a grounded film and something that was very tactile and not relying on a lot of CG. So our efforts were always geared towards that. And then obviously um, character and emotion and figuring out what that meant because it is my first conversation with Tom when we talked on the phone uh, he was in the middle of shooting Mission, and he said to me, you know, it's a competition film, and that's family, uh, that's the emotion of it, it's about the characters, we have to remember that, and stay true to the original, so that was very, kind of, we knew what our pillars were as we were starting to write the script. Working with Tom, this is my third film with him, and it's complete dedication when you're working on a film with him and he makes you better uh, as a producer crew member director whatever you're doing on the film you want to be at an all-time high working for him and um, he is great to work with he is it's all he's got it all I mean you it's all always about the story and the emotion working with him you as a producer you get you get the opportunity to work with somebody that's the top at his craft and you get a bounce ideas off them and he's done more movies than all of us and he's seen it all so you're learning you're you have a partner and you also have the benefit of watching him as an actor so it's it's pretty um it's pretty awesome it's, it's like working on the dream team and having jerry Bruckheimer as your producing partner on a film is um it's it's a dream you can't you can never ask for more i mean it's it's Jerry's Jerry has seen it all. Jerry has done a lot of movies. He's seen every situation. He knows how to handle them. He is very calm. He's very respectful. He lets you do your process. He will come in uh, and talk to you. And he's, you know, when he's got his points, he'll let you know. But just having Jerry as a producing partner is like the best thing ever. So our cast training program was a long time in the making and we learned a lot along the way and Tom and I started having um, phone calls very early on hours at a time developing a program that eventually became our cast training program I did not understand it Joe did not understand it Tom was is an aviator Tom understood flying Tom understood the planes Tom understood what the actors would be doing in the plane and what they, how they would have to properly train to do what they needed to do in the plane. We interviewed them and told them exactly what things were going to be like and ex explained to them what they would be feeling in the air. So having Tom help and develop the, the, the training program was priceless. I mean, we, we, we wouldn't be doing anything we were doing on the film if that did not happen. We knew we wanted Maverick to be Maverick of today and, and the proper age of Maverick today. We had no intention of making Maverick, you know, 30 years old or anything like that. We wanted, where are we now in, in the story? And that was, that was rule number one for us and rule number one for Joe and Tom. Uh, but also, you know, where do we leave Maverick and what's been happening in his life? You know, what has he been doing for 34 years? So I think we came to a great storyline of where where he, where has he been? And also, what has he been dealing with for all of these years after his best friend died? I think any movie goer on, on the planet will enjoy this film. I think it's it's naval aviation aviation period at its finest, armed forces at its finest, because it's a film about family, it's a film about emotion, it's, a, it's drama, it's competition. Um, those are the things, that, the, the through lines of the movie that's, that's driving story character. Um, it's got a lot of great action, it's a lot of fun, it's a ride, but it's also a drama on the ground. And I think that's a lot of fun, and I think that's what translate around the world for us, because it's it's truly about the characters and all of our action is in the air, which is very unique for movies of today.